What is going on guys, it's Crypto TNG and I'm back with a brand new video. Today was actually supposed to be a video where I was going to drop a hot lap video around Mazzano and the Ferrari. I ran a 32.9 but like an idiot I forgot to record it, I only took a picture of the time. So um, yeah, I'm going to have to do that for you guys again. But instead of that I actually had a pretty epic race in Mr. Gitz lobby yesterday around Mazzano. So I thought yeah, instead of um, uploading that I'll upload this race. Also. Jump on my Twitch tonight because we've got the AOR evaluation race for a set of course and that's also around Mazzano so that should be quite cool. But anyway this was an epic epic race and it was such a tight battle and I'm um, going to talk a bit about attacking and defending in this video because you see both sides of it. On this game I really do like the way how you have to really set somebody up when you want to attack them. Even if a guy is slower than you or in a slower car than you. Um, it's not as easy as what it is on project cars you just wait till you get to restraint and just drive past them you really really have to set them up on this game so yeah it was a great race um great video so i hope you guys enjoy it but anyway let's get stuck into the race so we actually started on pole for this one so um i was feeling pretty confident but i know frankie is a ridiculously fast guy and don't let the fact that he's in the mclaren fool you this guy is seriously seriously quick and the mclaren is quite a bit slower than the fry i'd probably say maybe one 1.2 seconds slower in my opinion anyway but um yeah um obviously he, he put it on the front row and he was only sort of a fraction of my time i didn't get a great lap in i only got one lap in because i came into the session quite late but um he was right there with me and uh yeah to, to get that sort of time of, of 34 one did he get in the, in the mclaren um is not easy because it's not the fastest car in the world but um yeah we definitely had an insane race um and I know a lot of the guys in, the, in Mr. Gets Lobby are always very clean and they know how to race so I knew it would be a tricky race and once he, as you can see, he's jumped me at the start so pretty much going to have to try and hunt him down and see how close I can stay to him. I wasn't too sure what kind of pace he would have. I don't know whether he had like unlocked something on the McLaren so I wasn't too sure how quick it would be but I knew I had about a second in my pocket from Quali because my lap was pretty awful. But um, yeah, coming into this race now, a lot of the time when I'm racing someone for the first few laps I, I like to gauge um, sort of where the pace is so I don't just sort of attack them straight out out the out the gate I don't sort of want to make any mistakes early on especially when the tire pressures are quite low it's very easy to hit a curb and bin it and just make a mistake or your brakes ain't warmed up and you just smash into the back of someone so um, I kind of keep it keep it relatively calm for the first couple of laps and then afterwards after I've sort of seen where I'm at in terms of pace that's when I sort of go on the attack but Mazzano is one of them tracks where you can be going along fine and then you'll hit one curb wrong and absolutely kill yourself so um yeah I wanted to be careful and also make sure I just didn't hit anybody but um you can see now we've created a little gap behind us um but I actually get stuck on the curb there going into turn one you can see the Bentley behind me rides the curb so well so at the moment it's looking like I'm going to be under attack and you see Frankie he's got a lovely run out of that corner and absolutely just bolted but um, I was just trying to focus on not um, getting hit from behind you see how close it was right there he almost smashed into the back of us he took a void in action I think he actually lost a place because of that and now I missed to get up into third place but we're still going to try and hunt down Frankie and see what we can do about them clearing ahead um, I, I tested the Ferrari earlier on in the day as I said I actually got a 32.9 um, in, in hot lap mode with the Ferrari so I just wanted to see what it was like in the race this was the first sort of race I pull it through normally around Mazzano I, I tend to use the Lamborghini even though it's pretty scary when it gets to the last sector even the Lamborghini I've been trying the Audi recently um, and I feel like the Lamborghini Audi AMG and the uh, Ferrari are all extremely close in pace around this track so um, it's just preference what you prefer to drive as I said normally I'd be in the Lamborghini but through this section of the course, the Lamborghini is absolutely terrifying. And normally the back end really steps out through this corner. So you've got to sort of balance it. The Ferrari is nice and stable, as is the Audi as well. So, um, yeah, um, definitely uh, definitely one less thing to think about compared to driving a Lambo. But we're trying to get back on the pace now, trying to get back to the back of Frankie and see if we can sort of put him under pressure. Because at the moment, he's looking extremely comfortable. So it actually takes us a couple of laps to get back onto the back of Frankie. You can see now we've opened up the gap behind us and then right on the back of the McLaren. Um, the McLaren not the greatest in top speed but there's not too many long straights around this circuit so um, you have to really try and set the guy up ahead. Um, try and make him defend into corners where you 
where you can sort of make him take a shallow entry so you can focus on the exit more. It's all about exits and I knew Frankie will be an incredibly hard guy to pass. If you haven't seen him sort of in the uh, in the races that you see with Jardia in Mr. Gitz League, um, I think Frankie's actually leading the championship where he's driving the Audi, so he's definitely a, a top, top driver. So, um, yeah, it was so difficult to, to sort of line him up because he was just getting great exits out of all the corners, but I could see where there was slight weaknesses in the McLaren so um, that was what I was focusing on but he he was taking the right lines and just always always getting on the power a fraction before me so I was just seeking out where I'm on the track where I'm gonna have my best chance and sort of just sort of prepare myself so when I really wanted to push for the position I could at the moment I was happy just to stay behind and through this section when you're right up behind someone you can't actually see the next corner which is one of the most deadly corners on the circuit so I was letting off a little bit early and just making sure I could get the nose of the Ferrari in um, we definitely had different lines through this um, last sector I took a much more shallow exit out of that corner where he went a little bit wider and I also cut over that curb a little bit more as well and you'll see later on in the, in the race how much that how much time that starts to actually gain me over the McLaren um, you can see he uses all the road on the exit and he just kept getting great great exits from the corners and I really couldn't really couldn't do anything out of that corner um, and that was one of the one of the only places where you can really set up an overtake and obviously the back straight as well but with the back straight is you're not breaking into a slow corner it's a couple of fast right handers so it's kind of hard to get down the inside of someone before you get to them fast corners it's, it's definitely sketchy to go side by side so yeah this was the section where I thought maybe I'd be able to get him but again you see him using all the road getting a great exit actually pulling away from us a little bit and um, yeah it was definitely tough obviously very experienced driver extremely quick and yeah he definitely knows what he's doing and I was just thinking um, maybe I can force him into a mistake maybe I can sort of just make him defend into a corner he doesn't want to defend into but he he sort of knew pretty much what I was thinking the whole time and he knew that this corner if I could just get a good enough run and get alongside then maybe I could squeeze down the inside but as I said down the back straight where you got these two fast right handers it's gonna be extremely sketchy going side by side through here at such a high speed so um, at the moment we're just gapping the guys behind us but on this game when you start battling you lose so much time as we almost been on the curb there almost been on the curb lucky not to lose lose more time lucky not to spin to be honest because once the cars start going in this game they really do start going so after losing all that time to Frankie we're still trying to um, gain back the time we're at the corner where we made the mistake the lap before and this time you can see Frankie he has a bit of a wobble and now it's put us straight back onto the back of his car and you can see again we take slightly more curb on the inside even though it is a little bit risky because you can definitely get binned through them curbs but um, now we're straight back onto the back of him again and we're going to sort of sort of try and sort of stepping up the pressure a little bit because I want to get past and um, yeah I feel like if I could get past I definitely had the pace to sort of pull away because I knew qualifying wasn't really great and it wasn't as if I you know I was at my maximum so at this point in time you, you can sort of tell uh, that the McLaren is just basically holding him back from his true pace because all the lines he's taken are pretty good but the McLaren's just when I tried the McLaren anyway I I couldn't get a 34 one what he got the car to me is just it's just slow handles quite nice but it's just not a very quick car but if it was going to be decent around any track I'd think around tracks like Mazzano Hungaro ring it's probably the best sort of tracks for the McLaren but um, other than that I don't really rate the car at all but anyway um yeah and just just to let you guys know especially with a set of Corsa the way how you got to sort of defend and attack is is different to a lot of other games because for instance on P cars I always felt like if someone was quicker than you and behind you especially if you're in a slower car as well um, there's not really too much you can do as soon as you get to a straight on P cars you are pretty much done for if someone was in a car that was like quite a bit quicker down the straight on a set of Corsa you can defend you can definitely stop someone who is a lot quicker getting past as long as you cover your lines and get good exits and make no mistakes there's not that much you can really there's not that much you can really do to get past unless you're on a track like you know Monza or Paul Ricard where you can get 
an amazing slipstream but on tracks that are difficult in real life to overtake it is difficult on the game to overtake and that's what I like about Assetto you really have to sort of you have to work at overtaking maneuvers you have to start your overtaking maneuver three or four corners earlier so um I, I enjoyed that part about the racing it feels like proper racing to me where you know you have to think while driving you have to think quite a lot and you can't just you know it's very hard to just dive bomb someone and throw up the inside and get the car stopped in time because more often than not you'll just outbreak yourself um, and yeah after that happens you, you, you just you're never gonna gain the position so overtaking is definitely something you have to work on especially if, you, if you're racing someone of a of a especially someone of a good quality who knows how to defend knows exactly where to put their car it is definitely a hard game to overtake somebody on um, but yeah as I said um, overtaking um, on this game you really do sort of you want to sort of put your mind to like what where the guy in front is thinking where the guy in front is weak you have to sort of scope out all the places on the track where you see him struggling and you have to plan for that every single time now I knew into this last sector that I could definitely carry more speed for a lot of these corners and at the hairpin I was definitely closing up but through this last corner he was so good coming out of this last corner I knew if I'm gonna get a move done it's gonna to have to be before we get to this corner because he's just he's bolting after this corner and again in the first sector the corner that I really wanted to close up on him was the the little fast left hander which I'll show you in a second um, after the double right hander that's where I needed to be right up behind him because that's where I knew the, the straight line speed of the Ferrari is a little bit it's not by any means a really fast car down the straight but it's quicker than the McLaren down the straight this corner here that's the corner I needed to be right up behind him because there's a little straight here and I know if I get a good enough run then I may be able to squeeze down the outside or even try on the inside even though I know obviously he would cover that but for this corner as well I was getting a good sort of run out of this corner this was the one corner where I felt like I would gain um, coming out of these probably these two corners here I was definitely feeling like I was gaining on the exits just by the fact I could take a tighter line and you can see that I'm actually getting a good run we're getting the slipstream on the McLaren and you can see the McLaren it's no slouch compared to the Ferrari it's not as if there's a massive um, straight line speed deficit but the Ferrari for me is definitely quicker in a straight line but um, that, that is the one thing about this game it's not I would say like for instance on P cars some cars have a massive speed difference down straights that is just you can just see it it's crazy whereas on on the set there is there is a big difference from the fastest to the slowest but most of the other cars in like in between are not that different and as long as you can get into the slipstream you can pretty much keep up but um yeah as I said proven difficult to, to pass Frank you can see we're pretty much lapping at the same pace and the guys behind us if we start battling you'll see how quick they will start catching because you just lose so much time when you're defending and taking alternative lines to try and catch somebody out and before you know it you have you have guys in the back of you so um yeah definitely difficult we're still just hunting him down we're trying to get close through these corners and that's what i like the, the difficulty in in getting close at the corners you want to get you want to like really be on the back of someone it's not it's not as easy in some games you just sort of right up behind someone and you can just sort of push them along the track everywhere but now you can see how close we got we really managed to stave him through that section and now we're going to try and force him to defend on the inside and we're going to try and take and sort of a later apex so we can get on the power quicker but he placed his car in the right place we almost managed to get the run but as he gets a little wiggle on it we get out of the throttle so we don't hit him you can see us going side by side through the section but he actually starts to pull back and I felt like I got a better run out of that corner but I don't know maybe the McLaren speed is sort of in the higher gears um, definitely on the lower gears the Ferrari's got the acceleration over it but I wouldn't say we looked any quicker I'm not too sure how much wing he was using maybe he's using a lot less downforce but um, for me I, I could tell it's gonna be hard but you can see how much quicker we are through that that corner right there we really seem to close up but and again this is the closest we've been out of the last corner we actually managed to get a decent run and you can see now he's having to defend for, for turn one. But turn one is a very tricky corner. Uh, you can sort of overshoot it in the back and steps out and then you just end up spinning it. So yeah, you have to be careful. At the same time, I want to get past. I try not to make any mistakes at the same time as well. 
Still got Mr. Git behind us. He's managing to um, hold down third position. And yeah, right now it's it's time to attack. We've gone halfway through the race now and he's pretty much been in front of me the whole entire time. Apart from the start, I gave a bit of room at the start, maybe too much room. I wasn't too sure if he was fully, fully not alongside me. I didn't want to sort of cut his nose off and then we both get binned and end up in the gravel. So I gave him a probably more room than I needed to and he obviously took advantage and now we're struggling really to get back past but never going to give up still attacking and at this point he knows that there's not really much he can do to get away so he's basically having to drive in his mirrors he's having to drive basically looking back all the time and that's that's a hard thing to do and not make a mistake at the same time I much prefer to be the guy who's hunting somebody down um, compared to the guy that's having to defend into every corner but um, talking about defending, like what, what Frankie's doing in this race is he's making sure that whenever I get a good exit out of a corner, that he's stopping my run by being putting his car in the right place. So I can't sort of just put my foot flat down and just keep chasing him everywhere. I've got to sort of give up on the run that I've got and maybe let off the throttle just a little bit. And that's really helping him stay in front and it's a clever way of defending even you saw it um, going onto the back straight before where his car made a wiggle towards towards me so I couldn't actually put my foot flat down where I think I would have got an even better run out of the corner I ended up having to get out of the throttle a little bit and that obviously helped him keep the position moving on now you can see the pace at the front has actually dropped quite a bit and you can see Mr. Git now uh, visibly a lot closer to us on the mini map than he was before so us fighting and it hasn't even been sort of a, a crazy fight but um, it's been enough where we, we're losing time one minute um, if we're clear we will have sort of a nice fast lap and the next minute we'll be well off the pace so he actually got a poor run through that section and this is quite close and a new under breaking I seem to be gaining quite a lot and out of this next corner I seem to be great um, gaining quite a lot so this is a chance to sort of set up a run onto the back straight and we actually took a nice corner there and we got a lot closer than I actually thought we would and now it's time to sort of set him up make him defend really shallow go really wide and then cut back and try and get a run down the inside but look how tight he keeps the line which stops us from properly getting on the power because we would have as we put our foot down the power we would have started running left in towards his car and he knew that so he made the line as tight as possible so we couldn't really get on the power and you can see now we're all over him through the section, all over him. I even think through these corners as well, I could carry a lot more speeds, but I was having to back off just to make sure I didn't go too deep into the corner. And again, you see the tight line for this corner where we definitely gained so much time. And again, we'll cut over this curb and it just seems to be a slightly better line through there. And we managed to gain quite a lot through that section. But again, he's always good through the last corner and still struggling to keep on the back of his car but we actually did a decent last corner there and managed to keep up with him but um yeah this this race is definitely getting tense as he almost bins it we actually have to get out of the throttle a little bit so we don't run into the back of him give ourselves damage and then we both sort of struggle to hold on to our positions because once you get damage on this game it does slow you down quite a bit um even sometimes the handling wise you hunt handling wise you won't notice it but it definitely slows you down but we're close again through this section and we managed to really stick onto the back of him this time and this time I was thinking we definitely got a chance to overtake him only five minutes of the race left to go so now I definitely want to get past and I go really long on the brakes break really late actually managed to out break him but we almost bin it and we just hold it and he keeps the position and that's what I'm talking about when you sort of when you're racing someone and you send dive bombs it's really on the edge to whether you're even going to make the corner so it's it's a it's definitely tricky to get your braking right when you're going to break super late we almost managed to pull it off but we just got uh, the, the tail end of the car snapping out at the last moment so kind of tricky but um, yeah definitely definitely the best opportunity we've had we managed to actually we were in front at a point in that corner he did break quite early but he knew he wanted that tight line so we can get his foot down on the power and um, we're gonna have to try and set that one up again and again this corner where we take the shadow line it helps us get back to the right earlier and then we can turn left earlier so you can see how much speed we're carrying through that corner behind Frankie and he's sort of focusing on the last corner to get a good run out of him we're starting to stick with him now for the last corner which is definitely helping us a lot I was thinking should I try and um, outbreak him into turn one but I wasn't close enough um, 
going over the curb sometimes as well is a little bit sketchy especially when when you're really close up behind someone you can't actually see the curb properly you can see the gap behind there's only 1.5 seconds now so mister gets closing on us as well and it's about to come become a four car battle because we're not actually setting great lap times at the front because we're pretty much battling he's having to drive in his mirrors i'm having to sort of try and throw dummies and try and get down the inside and take alternative um, lines into the corners that are only good if i'm actually making the uh, overtake but because i'm still getting stuck behind i'm just losing time taking different lines but um you can see now frankie he knows he's only got three and a half minutes really to hold on and i know i've only got three and a half minutes to to get the pass done so just focusing on my exits now focusing on just trying to see if i can pass him anywhere but he's, he's done a great job so far and you have to remember the mclaren is quite a bit slower than the ferrari so he's done an exceptional job and i tell you right now if he was in the audi he was normally using it'll be a totally different race for one the pace would be a lot quicker so um yeah definitely done a great job in the mclaren i'm still trying to hang on and um just look for any opportunity hoping that with the race being so tense and only a little bit of time left he might make a mistake somewhere where i can sort of pounce you can see now through the last corner we're starting to really get his number now we're starting to sort of clock on to exactly how he's doing it so we're, we're pretty much there every turn one now but he's still getting a good enough run to pull away from us enough so we can't attack him into the first corner but through this section now we definitely if you can keep a tighter line through here you will gain a little bit of time we know we can break pretty late compared to the mclaren and i'm right behind him this was the section i was focusing on this whole section from here all the way into the back straight was pretty much um the corners that i knew if i can put pressure on him if i can make him defend into this corner and then defend into the next corner it'll give me a chance at runs again we're getting a good run and again we break super late this time we managed to get it slowed down we're a little bit more gentle on the brake pedal and he just manages to defend it off and yeah this was this was what i wanted i wanted him to defend going into this corner and let's see if i can get a cut back on him again but he, again he takes a nice tight line and he doesn't he doesn't give us any space to sort of expand on on the exit so i can't actually put my foot fully down because i'm just going to career into the side of his car he's very smart defending and yeah if, if you guys are ever wondering about defending this is a good lesson and what Frankie's doing on the corner exits is not giving me enough space to to actually plant my foot down and get get full throttle which is also saving him because he's not going to get a, a better exit than me because I've taken a layer apex so he's basically sort of slowing down my my exits to help him keep the position now we've got a great run um, going into turn one we can see the McLaren actually pulling a little bit on us I was pretty surprised at that to be honest I thought about going around the outside here I thought about it, I was going to chuck it down the inside, but I thought the corner is so tight that I'm probably going to end up careering straight into him. But um, this now being the last lap, only a minute left, and I just wanted to stay as close as possible. And this is where you, you just get you just get excited. At this moment in time, I'm so excited to just, I can't wait to get to the back straight because I'm thinking I'm going to try and surprise him with something. But he actually gets a really good run for that left-hander, and that's put us on the back foot now because we can't actually attack him into the next corner if you look behind mr git is only seven tenths behind us so this is a four-way battle now because he's got someone right behind him as well and um yeah it was definitely tight um frankie did an insane job defending in this race i'm telling you crazy job and he took a good line through there so we're not actually going to get the greatest of runs out of this corner and we're definitely not as close as we were in the last few laps and he pretty much knew now it's almost single file once you get to the last sector and I wanted to take a risk in this next corner because I felt like I was a lot faster through this corner but you you can't really see too much when you get too close and you can see now look how much faster we are through there and I thought I could try and throw it down the inside but knowing how the line um, goes through that corner it's gonna have to be an extremely late dive bomb and I don't think I want to do that and just smash him off after such a great race and he manages to defend it all the way into the last corner we take a little bit off that corner as well still on the back of him but couldn't find a couldn't find a way past we did 18 laps pretty much nose to tell and like i say he only gave me a, a couple of opportunities to pass but it was an insane race and um yeah he defended so well but um probably there was a couple of instances where i could have taken the risk 
um, but still um, it was a great race and Frankie's shown how to defend and then on the other hand I've just shown you how to set up your moves corners before you actually try to make it overtake and um, yeah that's what a set of course is all about but it was a great race but anyway remember you guys I'm going to be streaming live tonight um, it's the AOR evaluation race and that's also at Mazzano I might use the Ferrari again I'm not too sure but Make sure you go and follow me on Twitch, man. It should be pretty live. But yeah, Cryptic TNG, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.